I'm going to put the Honda a little away for tonight. And here's the other uh, side cover. Beautiful bike. Of course, there's my DO. And there's that beautiful racing pipe on there. Love that thing. What I've done is it has a new battery because the other one did not uh, did not work well. And I patched the the rear seat as well as I can. This is this is a really high quality um, fabric, actual fabric tape, and it sticks really well. The engine carburetor is adjusted, adjusted. All the um, everything's been put away right. One tip I'd like to give people if. If you work on these and you have a vacuum problem and you're not sure, what I suggest you do, if it's been sitting a long time, is to take these lines off, all right, and blow through them. With, blow through them, you know, with your mouth or whatever. Sometimes in the winter, you can get a little bug in there, a little uh, spider or, or whatever, and they'll make a little nest right up in here. And you really need that vacuum or you need that... Uh, rubber pipe to be free to be to work and you can work on a whole bike for hours and hours and you won't find that problem because you didn't think about it I've run into this problem twice so like your vent lines in your carburetor you need your vent lines if some gas goes into the float bowl or petrol it needs a hole to let the air out and then when the gas goes down it needs a hole to let the air in so it equalizes pressure. So that's just a good check. Is if if it's sitting a long time, check the um, check the vacuum lines. Just blow through them, make sure they're fine. I spent hours screwing up uh, or trying to fi figure out the problem, and I just found it like that. Now what I like to do, this bike is going to go away for winter, I believe, or put it being put away. So I like to put on the armor all or protectorant. I just spray it on liberally. Or another thing you can spray on, which I totally agree with, spray on WD-40. Because after all the frost and the cold and everything else, next spring, you'll come back and take the side panel off and the bike will look just like that. It Because no rust will be on it. Nothing. And it, it's just a really nice protectorant. So I'm going it, it, to, it's, it's, it's working as well as I can get it, and for 21 years old, so I'm going to put it back in the garage, and then I will um, take it back to the owner. And you can see, this is the actual mileage right here. Let's see if I can get a, that's the actual mileage, 1,374, 1,375 miles. On, on this and it's a beautiful color first one I've ever I've ever worked on I'm at an 80 because I, I work on 50 cc's and I, I tell you it's an amazing little bike one day I'm gonna have to either uh, one day I'm gonna see if I can get one maybe I mean if something comes up and I get lonely with the other five mopeds four mopeds and I need another one all right, I'm going to put it away for night. I'm going to uh, put these uh, videos on YouTube. This is Dio Speed Demon. I'm going to lift a few weights for an old man in his 60s. And I might do a, I just might do a, a video collage on um, the mental side of lifting weights. I'm not going to, to show you myself as far as trying to be a 19-year-old, you know, uh, 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 story buffed out guy or something. But I will explain mentally what it takes to do hundreds of hours and you get your enjoyment out of it. <clears throat> if someone, if anyone would like me to do that. <clears throat> okay. We're going to put it away for the night. Thank you.